power outages. Are you ready if your power goes out? Well, this is Tech Made Easy, and you hold on tight because we are going to be doing a review and testing to see how long the new Delta Max that just came out. This is the Max 2000 and the extra battery. With over 4,000 watt hours, how long will it keep a full-size refrigerator charged? Well, that's the question. How many hours or how many days? Well, let's get started. Hi, it's Al from Tech Made Easy with a real quick message. I just want to let you know the video you're about to watch is not sponsored. We went out and bought the products ourselves. So if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. It definitely helps. Share our video. And lastly, we hope you subscribe to our channel and become a part of the family. Thank you. So the question is, how many hours or how many days will this power station and the extra battery keep this refrigerator charged? Well, we're going to find out, and I'm going to add even more to the video, so I really hope you watch the full video. That really helps us. This is the brand new EcoFlow Delta Max 2000, and the 2000 actually stands for 2016 watt hours. The expansion battery doubles the capacity. That means it's going to run longer. You're talking over 4,000 watt hours, which is amazing. Battery power stations have drastically improved. Some call these solar generators. Now the reason why is one of the ways you can actually recharge the power station is by the sun, as you can see with solar panels right there in the backyard. This beast can handle 2400 watts with up to 5000 watt surges. Now to make this video interesting, what we're gonna be doing is as we're doing the testing so you don't get bored, we're going to cover the seven key features of this beast. And by the end of this video, not only will you learn how long it will run the refrigerator, but you'll also learn a lot more about the Delta Max 2000. Let's get started. As you can see, they are fully charged right now. So this is the 2000 and this is the extra battery. All right. And the refrigerator is unplugged because it's plugged directly into the Delta Max. Now, I don't know if you're aware, but we did a video a while ago on the Delta 1300, and we even used solar. So I'll put an image on the screen if you want to check that out. Just go to the description, but why don't we get started? All right, guys. Well, as I said before, right now it's off because the AC outlets are not turned on over here. So what I'm going to do is use my EcoFlow app, and I'm going to go ahead and turn on the AC outlet. So let's do that. As you can see, it's jumping up to about 165 watts, and then it goes to zero. Don't worry about the zero. Over time, it'll probably average anywhere from 40 to 50 watts, and every so often, it'll jump up 70 to 150 watts. That's just what refrigerators do. So we want to see how many days these two units will keep this refrigerator charged, because this is a new product, and I think a lot of people are interested. So it is 4 o'clock on a Sunday. I'll keep note of that and we'll keep track. Let's get started. All right, let's go ahead and go over key features. Now, these are in no specific order. This is a feature that I really like. It does some trickery, as you call it. It's called X-Boost. Now, the power station, the Delta Max 2000, handles up to 2400 watts. And it actually surges up to 5,000 watts, which is amazing. But they've got this X-Boost technology that'll actually handle many devices up to 3,400 watts. And how it does that is it actually lowers the voltage. So keep that in mind because there are certain types of electronics that you can't lower the voltage. All right, so learn more about that. But this is definitely number one. All right, we are two and a half hours in, no big deal. But what I wanted to share with you is how this battery system works. So as the Delta Max gets depleted, 
by keeping the refrigerator on, what happens is it actually gets the, the power from this one. You know, just so you know how it works. As you can see here, we've got 65 watts going out of the battery. And down here, we have 65 watts coming in from the battery and about 50 watts going out for the refrigerator. Key feature number two. This power station, you can connect up to 15 devices. Is that amazing or what? So in the front, it's actually got four USBs. Two of them are fast charge. And then it's got two Type-C USBs. And they support 100 watts each, which is amazing. Then in the back of the machine, you've got six AC outlets. And then on the bottom of the machine, you have a car charger. And then you have two barrel plugs, which are also DC. So that's 15 devices that you can plug into at the same time. All right, it is 9 p.m. on day one, and we've got the uh, max at 92% with 31 hours remaining. We've got the battery at 93% with 27 hours remaining. It is sending 75 watts to the max, so it's charging the max. And we have about 97 watts going into the refrigerator. We'll go ahead and do a check in the morning and see how it is on day two. Key feature number three, but to be honest, it should have been number one. Think about it. No one likes to wait for anything. If you have to plug your phone in and charge it, you're dying for it to finish, right? Well, EcoFlow has a feature called Xtreme. I simply call it the fastest charge in town. This is something that really sets them apart from all the battery manufacturers. Think about it. Most of these power stations take five, six, eight hours to charge. Guess what? This Delta Max can be charged from zero to 80% in 65 minutes, killing the competition. So to me, this should have been number one, but I put it on number three, Extreme, the fastest charge. Okay, good morning. It is now uh, 8.30 in the morning, so it's 16 and a half hours into the test. And we've got Brooklyn here, by the way, right, hanging out with us in the morning doing this test. Um, the max says it's 78% with 27 hours remaining. It has 80-something, uh, 80 89 hour, uh, watts going out to the refrigerator but it's receiving 73 from the battery. Now the battery is 75% charged and it has 73 watts going into the max with 22 hours remaining. Now the app, by the way, which is very helpful, does say overall the batteries are at 78%. All right, I wanna take a moment and share a tip with you. So if you remember the beginning of the video, at some point, the refrigerator wasn't pulling any power. It was showing zero wattage, right? Now, if it continued to do that for a long period of time, what would normally happen is the power stations would actually turn off. Now, you don't want that to happen. There are certain devices that have low draws. And in this case, a refrigerator, a lot of times will go to zero watts for a little while. So let me show you the setting in the EcoFlow app, okay? So what you want to do is you want to make sure you go to settings and when you go to settings you want to scroll down to auto timeout and if you look here I've got unit timeout I turned it on to never and I've got AC timeout and I put that on never and guess what now the power station will stay on until the battery dies key feature number four You've got four ways to charge the Delta Max 2000. Number one, plug it in your wall with an AC. Number two, plug it into your car. Number three, plug it into a solar panel. And number four, they came up with a smart generator. And if you buy that, you can actually put gas in it. And that is number four. Four ways to charge the Delta Max 2000. All right, 
It is 25 and a half hours into this test. Overall capacity on the app says it is a 68% overall capacity. Let's take a look real quick. So the battery is 62% uh, left. It says 35 hours. Sending 36 hour, uh, uh, watts to the Delta Max. The Delta Max has 68% left. It says 42 hours left. The refrigerator is currently using about 34 apps, uh, 34 watts. Key feature number five is the EcoFlow app. Now, not all manufacturers that make these power stations have an app, and they should. You can remotely control the Delta, you can monitor it, you can manage it, and you can also update it and keep it up to date with firmware updates. So. Key feature number five is the EcoFlow app. All right, day two, it is 10 p.m. We are 30 hours into this, and Brooklyn is keeping me honest. She's going to be watching me to make sure that I take my notes real well. But let's take a look here at the Max. The Max is 61% charged. It's got 12 hours remaining, and uh, we've got 152 watts going into the refrigerator and 97 watts coming in from the battery. Now the battery is 51% charged. It says it's got an 11 hours left. Key feature number six. Again, a feature that is not in every power station. So be aware and do not, I repeat, do not buy a power station without this feature. It's called pass-through charging. All right, and what that means is you can actually charge the Delta 2000, right, by plugging it in or maybe by solar while you're powering other devices. Now, if you remember the beginning of the video, I talked about powering my Delta with a solar panel while I was actually keeping my refrigerator plugged in during a power, power outage, right? So that's just a perfect example. Make sure you get pass-through charging that's key feature number six. All right, good morning. We are 40 and a half hours into this test. Today's day three, it's Tuesday. We have 46% overall battery capacity available. Let's look at the max and see. So the max is 46% uh, charged. 89 hours left is what it's saying. Again, that's because right now the refrigerator is not using any wattage. The battery is 35% charge. It says 50 hours left. Again, don't worry about the hours, but the percentage of the battery is important. So right now we are using no wattage. The battery is not giving any um, wattage to the max. Pretty interesting, huh? 40 and a half hours in. And uh, we have 46% capacity left. Key feature number seven, the unit is expandable. And you saw that when the video first started, right? We have one battery connected to it, but guess what? You can have two batteries connected to the Delta Max 2000. That's over 6,000 watt hours. Think about that. If your power went out at home, that could really help you keep your refrigerator, you know, cold and plug in your phones and have a, a, a light, maybe a heated blanket. Or what if you have a cabin and you just want to bring some power with you? So this is key feature number seven, expandability. All right, day three, we are 54 hours into this test. I've got 28% overall remaining. And let's take a look at the max. The max has 28% left on the battery. 54 hours, obviously that's not gonna be accurate. There's no watts being used right now. And we go up to the battery that's been charging the max. We have 14% and 17 hours left. Again, don't worry about those numbers when you have no wattage being used all right good morning it is day four at seven o'clock in the morning 
we have about 15% capacity left on uh, these units here. We are 63 hours in. Crazy. I got my morning voice, by the way, if you could hear that. Um, let's take a look at the max. And the max shows 14% left. They're saying 27 hours remaining, but again, we have no load, so that wouldn't be accurate. And we have the uh, battery with 1% left. Okay. It's actually sending wattage into the max, 35 watts sending in. And yep, the refrigerator is now asking for some wattage. So about 35 watts. Okay, it's still day four. We are 68 hours in. It is 10 o'clock in the morning. And these devices are still on. Let's take a look at the battery because the battery is going to be the first thing to die. We are again at 1%. It is sending 36 watts into the max. On the max, we are at 7%. The refrigerator is using about 48 watts. It says about with three hours remaining. Now, overall capacity, we're at 7% overall capacity on the units combined. All right, it's day four. It is 3 p.m. The app says we are 4% overall as far as capacity. Let's take a look at the battery. Battery is showing 1% with 41 minutes left, sending 38 to 40 uh, watts into the max. The max says 4% left, two hours remaining. The refrigerator is using about 40 watts and it is receiving 38 watts from the battery. All right, day four, 5.30 p.m., 73.5 hours into this test. We now have 1% overall battery capacity. Let's take a look at the battery. Battery's got 1%, says it's got one hour's remaining. Max says 1%, and it says three hours remaining. All right, day four, 7.30 p.m., we are 75.5 hours into this test. Overall, we have about 1% battery left. This thing does not want to die. Let's take a look at the max. Max is at 1%. Says it's got about 21 minutes left. It's receiving uh, 50 watts from the battery. Now, the battery, I noticed for the first time, is flashing. It says 0%. Uh, about one minute remaining, so uh, that's this is uh, going to probably be the time that the battery will die and the max will go on for a little bit longer, maybe three hours more, not sure. There's no wattage uh, being used with the refrigerator, so three hours is not accurate, but 75.5 hours into this on day four. Well, I, I spoke too soon, um, 7.30 p.m., uh, these guys are depleted. 75.5 hours. Okay, we went, uh, yeah, I mean, that, that's really good, right? Three days and uh, three and a half hours. So, real good test. Very nice. Now I have to plug the refrigerator in because it needs power. Wow, that was a fun video to make. And, and I want you to think about this. What if you only lose power for a couple of hours or a day? Just imagine what you can do with something like this besides keep your cell phones charged, right? Make yourself a cup of coffee. Listen, we're going to put some links in the description. The Delta Max 2000 sells for $2,100. They make a model that has a little bit less capacity. It's a Delta Max 1600 and that sells for $1,600. The combination we had here today sells for about $3,600. We'll put some links in the description. Um, we're also going to have some information coming up after this if you want some resource information or some other stuff towards the end of the video. What's more important right now is, one, we hope you subscribe to the channel and become a, a family member. We really do. Number two, thumbs ups really help the channel. Hope you give us one. And share our video. We really appreciate your time. We hope you found this information helpful. Thank you so much.
Hey guys, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. As you can see, Brooklyn, she's waving her tail for you. Take a moment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell and you'll get notified of new videos we come out with. Also, follow us and contact us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.